Welcome back to my channel, Margaret Knob Designs. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. And um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what I am doing or what I've been working on. This is a collaboration called Smash or Stash, and it is hosted by Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts. And this month, um, we didn't have a topic. We could choose anything that we wanted to. And I decided that I was not going to do a craft this month, but I wanted to talk about smashing a paper pad and um, what I did with it. And not so much that I used it all up, but that I am preparing for opportunities for other things to be done. So let me share that with you. I have um, an iris case that's just um, starting to be full. And what I did was I took a pack of cardstock that I did get from, I believe, yeah, from Michaels. And it's 65 pound cardstock. And what I wanted to do is, is that oftentimes when I get started with, um, <coughs> excuse me, card making, um, I, I don't have bases made up. And so what I wanted to do was to start getting some bases made up for myself. <clears throat> I'm going to be back in just a minute. I need to cough. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so what I decided to do was I had bought some of this cardstock and I wanted to use these for card bases because I really like to layer on the cards. And I had this, this is a notepad that I've had from a really long time. And these are full card bases with craft on the back. And they are Craft Core. They are by Tim Holtz. And like I said, I've had this in my collection for a really long time. I use it, there's 72 sheets in there, but it just seems to last and last and last. So kind of to this idea, I decided that I was gonna cut up this whole pack of cardstock. There is 100 sheets in here and four sheets of each color. And I think there might be a little bit off. Hopefully there's not too much shine on here. But basically what I ended up doing was, is I took my cardstock and I put them in these containers. And each one of these are cut, my bases, at <clears throat> four by five and a quarter. I like to have a, a quarter of an inch um, leeway on my cards. And I put them into uh, packages of like yellows and orange. These are pinks. This is red and white, greens, purples, blues, and then some neutrals. And then because they're 12 by 12, they have a cutoff at the end. So what I ended up doing was putting all my leftover uh, cutoffs in here. And what I'm going to do is to take these and uh, do some stamping on them. You know, generic comments like happy birthday or, um, you know, thinking of you or hugs. So I have matching colored cardstock right in this container. Hold on to that. But what I will do is I will go ahead and start uh, making up some bins of like a happy birthday thinking of you. Uh, probably not a with, with sympathy. I might make a miscellaneous one that'll have a bunch of different sentiments in it. So I'm going to spend some time making up all those sentiments. Something else that I started to do with my other iris case is uh, breaking up my ephemera. And these this is some ephemera left over from a collection that I just got done working on and one of the things that I want to start doing is right after I'm done with a collection if I can't make another mini album with it but I can still maybe make cards or something I want to put any of the ephemera in here and just work through it and see how much I can get done so um, I'm what I'm trying to do with this is trying to get this so um, this card making is um, a little bit quicker maybe like a one sheet wonder I, I have everything right here that I can work with this is not to say that there isn't going to be times or opportunities to 
um, make other types or styles of cards because this card is not going to be, this is a, a four and a quarter by five and a half A2 size card, so it's a packet for those kinds of cards. Now if I get cardstock in other colors, you know, by all means I can use that, cut that up and put it into my box. But I have shelves in my crafting room that this can sit on very nicely and I can pull it over to my desk and hopefully I'll have sentiments here and uh, my strips there. Um, I also can go back and cut out a lot of uh, circles or sentiment strips that um, maybe this is used to be the background for my pattern paper and um, the sentiments circles or um, frames or whatever I can stack some of those in here that way I'm all set and ready to go and there's no um, issue about it this is a great thing to have too that if you're doing uh, Christmas cards and you're going to do a lot of them to cut these things up and to start working on them assembly style so I wanted to share with you this is how I smashed this paper pack like I said there was a hundred uh, sheets of paper in here basically I got two four six <coughs> six uh, cards bases out of every um, sheet so I got 600 card bases here with um, six well, yeah I would have no, it wouldn't be 600 on that one. These are, well, one, two, three, yes, six, uh, 600 of those sentiment strips as well. So <clears throat> that is my smash my stash for this month. I'll have something crafty for you next month. And I thank you so much for joining me. And I thank Beth for leading this uh, collaboration. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you back in the next uh, video, which should be coming up uh, either Sunday or Monday. So thanks very much. Have a great night.